I guess you all know it. You're going to barbecue in summer, you're going swimming, or you want to go on a great trip, and everything is suddenly spoiled by a strong storm with heavy rain accompanied by dangerous lightning. And while you're out, you decide to at least film or watch this wonderful spectacle, which is certainly wonderful, but it is important to remember that it is very dangerous. In this video, we will discuss when to know when it's time to take cover, as you are in imminent danger of being struck by lightning. Since I've experienced this situation myself, as last year, lightning struck next to me while I was filming a thunderstorm. I will share some recommendations. They will surely come in handy in the coming summer. Keep an eye out for these signs, they will warn you when lightning may strike and when it's time to seek shelter. Friends, Welcome to another video on the Top Topics channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss out any videos in the future. Ready? Let's do it. Number 1. Clouds It may seem like a beautiful day, but look out if you see a fast-growing cumulonimbus cloud in the distance. Although these cumulus clouds look bright white from a distance and form in sunny skies, don't be fooled. They are the early stages of a developing thunderstorm. If you notice them getting higher and higher in the sky, you can be sure a storm is brewing, and it's quite likely heading your way. Number 2. Increasing wind and dark skies. It's warm and windless, and you're enjoying a nice warm day by the water. Suddenly, everything seems to have gone dark, and the wind starts to play with the treetops which increases suspiciously fast when suddenly you have trouble holding your umbrella. These are telling signs of an approaching storm. Number 3. Audible thunder. Thunder is the sound produced by lightning, so if a thunder is heard, lightning is close. You can tell how close by counting the number of seconds between the flash of lightning and the thunder and dividing that number by 5. The resulting number means how many kilometers away the storm is from you. Number 4. Severe Thunderstorm Warning The National Weather Service issues severe thunderstorm warnings whenever severe thunderstorms have been detected on the weather radar or confirmed by storm spotters. Lightning between clouds and ground is often the main threat of such storms. Lightning always occurs during a thunderstorm, but it is not necessary for the storm to be directly overhead to be in danger of lightning strikes. In fact, the threat of lightning starts when the storm is approaching, peaks when the storm is overhead, and then gradually decreases as the storm moves away. As I said, lightning is the biggest danger of a normal thunderstorm. When lightning strikes you or an area nearby, you may notice one or more of these warning signals a few seconds in advance. Number 1. Hair standing on the ends of tingling skin. Just before the lightning actually strikes, static energy fills the air. If you look at your arms, you can see the hairs on your arms bristling. You may also feel a physical tingling sensation throughout your body, especially in your extremities. This is often the inner feeling that people have when they sense that something is coming. If your hair is standing up, you may only have a few seconds to protect yourself from the lightning and hide. Number 2. Metallic taste in mouth. Electrical stimulation can generally lead to a metallic taste. If you feel something metallic in your mouth, you are already experiencing some form of electrical shock and should immediately get to a safe area and not be out in the open. No, I'm not <laughs> Number 3. Smell the ozone in the air. Ozone resembles the smell of chlorine. It is formed when nitrogen oxides from lightning interact with other chemicals and sunlight. It is often smelled after a thunderstorm and it makes the air fresh and clean. But when it is during a thunderstorm, it can mean a lightning strike is coming. 
do not take any chances and take cover. Number 4. Sweaty Palms and Dizziness As soon as you start to feel dizzy or sweaty, you're at the risk of lightning strikes. This means you should get undercover and stay away from any large metal objects as soon as possible. The feeling of dizziness and sweating is caused by an electrical charge that hits your nervous system and heats up your body as your heart runs on electricity. Number 5. Even if you don't feel anything electrical, you may hear buzzing, cracking or vibration in metal objects near you. Do not attempt to touch these objects under any circumstances. Be sure to stay far away as electricity can burn you even if you do not touch these objects. Electrical humming and buzzing may increase when lightning is approaching. And should only occur when lightning strikes a few seconds later. If you notice any of these symptoms, it may be too late to avoid being struck and possibly injured or killed. However, if you find that you have time to react and easily take cover, such as leaving a balcony, you should do so. I can personally confirm that before the lightning strike that crackled to next to me, I felt a metallic taste in my mouth, tingling and dizziness combined with sweating. But what is most important? At the first sign of an approaching storm, you should not wait for anything and quickly seek shelter. Ideally in an enclosed building, away from windows. If you can't find shelter indoors, the next best option is a vehicle. If you are stranded outside for any reason, you should make sure to stay away from trees and other tall objects. Protect yourself from water and anything that is wet, as water is a strong conductor of electricity. Be sure not to run in the storms and get rid of all metal objects, your cell phone and also don't stay under an umbrella. All of these attract lightning. Friends, we are at the end of the video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out any videos in the future. And you can also support the development of the channel by clicking on the heart below the video and donating any amount. Thanks a lot everyone and I will be looking forward to see you in the next video. Bye.